one. Alright, conducting research is very important to universities, therefore information sources are critical for decision making and must exhibit certain characteristics. Cool. Three information sources that are acceptable for research to be conducted by universities. You would go with a journal and um, a good online library. Um, you don't want to put things like wikis and um, newspapers and whatnot. those are not very good for universities. So, these are for more scholarly articles, more reputable sources. Uh, yeah. Websites, um, mm. websites will be on the on the on the low end of of, of the answers. Um, more than likely, math scheme will have things like you know, books online library. Websites may be accepted, but I don't I don't want to think that. You're looking for the most for the, the most credible of the credible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Online database, yeah, can you online database yeah. um, because these places are managed. Now. Because without management, their websites could be could give you bad information. Mm -hmm. Alright, describe four characteristics common to all of the information sources listed in E. Um, eat map, the four characteristics two for each. So you could get um um accuracy all of them have to Well, the castle currency because books would not be covered. You could see a level of scholarship. Uh, um, that uh, most likely uh, reputable for value in the requirement of the publisher. Um, accuracy, referred sources, level of scholarship, and um, Cost now going on, the cost doesn't meet the good information. It just means like expensive information. So, cost will be hard. Availability will be good. But availability is not a availability is not a good thing for journals and books because they are finite. Online libraries and online services is good. Reliability, you could get reliability. Um, but reliability is, reliability is kind of like a general thing uh, because you have to be able to describe what makes it reliable. So you might get a few marks inside if you, if you put them online and give explanation for them, but I doubt those will be. Availability. See, I want the power availability, but books not always available. Sometimes they have books not available. Like you can't get them because they have to have two copies or things like that. I must stay away from availability, but it looks like I might have to I have to put in. Let's see. Oh, alright, yeah. Do you want if you have all that online, yeah, you should check it out. Oh, ah, you think that's how I'm back up coverage. I'm on the PTRS of coverage. Because the ones that the syllabus has, they have um, they have better coverage, amount of detail, and you know, cost and currency and those things. So availability would be good if, if you give examples of stuff that's online, then yeah, availability would be perfect. But um, if, if I have books and libraries, I can't put that because I don't have all of them in common now. Yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good. Specificity, breadth of coverage, and you could put level of detail also. That could be level of detail and breadth of coverage, all that would be good. So availability will be, if you use online sources alone, you will get that. And, um, yeah, but you win there. Um, costs would be for the online. Well, well, most you see these things online, like online libraries and online databases, they have costs. So um, I don't know if costs will be able to fit. Journals have costs, books have costs, online libraries cost, online databases cost. Only thing that doesn't cost anything is a website, but as a website is not here highest level of our answer for it. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, define each of the following telecommunication terms. Bandwidth. Bandwidth is the um yeah bandwidth is the amount of data that can be transmitted via the transmission medium at any one point in time. Which will be like you know megabits per second or something. So. Alright, so bandwidth is a measure of the amount of data that you could send the time, right? Um, do -do 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 Transmission medium, the material used to transmit data over a network. Example, a 
skapa och video och vi tänker på material och method. Ja, material och method är för att det är possible. Then there is modulation. Modulation is the conclusion of analog, analog, digital, or vice versa. Yeah. Um, telecommuting. Telecommuting is coming to the module. We apply the as a or it could just be like remote working, remote working via a PPE or a PPE. Plenty to explain about it. Um, so a representative of a university prepares a report for delivery at a conference using a presentation tool, a conference tool using which presentation tool can be enhanced for maximum impact. Um, it's for delivery at a conference. So if you're delivering to a conference and it's university, you will want to put like um, whenever you're talking about presentation tool, you want to talk about audio, video, and you could say images or so audio clips and be used to um, add emphasis to certain point in the presentation. Um, video, um, video can be used to illustrate. Yeah. Video can be used to illustrate some specific point that I made. Images they can be used to clearly visual representation of the statistics. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, I mean, it's not the best, but it's cool. <laughs> they, 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 it's, only, it's only two marks you're fighting for, so the fact that you say video and it gives some sort of explanation for it, they really go, they really kill it. If it was a three mark question or a three mark, uh, two marks for it, you would not get it. Two marks, you know, two marks. Alright, yeah. Right. So data is generally classified as qualitative or quantitative. This thing should say qualitative or quantitative. Qualitative is uh, quantitative and quantitative data is data that we are not quantitative and quantitative. Data examples of each of data, qualitative data would be the sun is very hot, quantitative data, the temperature is 35 degrees Celsius, or two for each, sun is very hot, okay, the um, tree is very tall, the tree is three meters tall, yeah, oh shucks, it's a job interview, my bad, my bad, hard luck, I know watching the question, we yeah. hard luck, hard luck, hard luck, hard luck. I'm sorry, I was really speeding there. I was happy when it get complacent and it be like, oh yeah, I know what qualitative and quantitative is. Definitely. <laughs> uh, yeah, in our job interview. Alright, so in our job interview, the um, candidate is very smart. The uh, candidate uh, has a lot of experience. Yeah. Quantitative will be the candidate um, has a 1400 SAT score and the candidate C the candidate has three years work experience. Yeah, right, good, yeah, that'll be better. Whoosh, a little fight, man. Yeah, age and yeah, anything that have a number, anything that have a number is quantitative. Oh, whoosh, a job interviewing, gonna ask for your favorite color. But if I was marking that, I ain't not giving you no marks for that. Imagine you go a job interview and one of say, so what's your favorite color? You're working penta. Um, um, yeah, Jared, hobbies will be okay, yeah. Hobbies in a job interview, that, that, that is understandable. Ooh, how that qualitative, boy? But because I love the company, you can't quantify much. No, 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 that, 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 that's plenty. That's what uh, yeah, I guess you, you could get out. We could fight that. We could fight that. Um, but remember, it's the data that'll be collected from the job interviewer. So it'll be like, okay, what do they what do they want to collect? So the reason for them applying for the job, yes, they will collect that from the interview. They will also collect that the that the person is smart. They'll also collect that they have a lot of experience. But yeah, but they ain't gonna collect that your favorite color. Unless if you're applying for a job at Chelsea or some kind of thing like that. Right, good try, good try. Um, computer hardware has changed significantly since it was first developed. Online 3 trends associated with the development of computer hardware. Right, well, you have um, you have it is size, it has gotten smaller. You have speed, and you have um, size, speed, and cost. Right, yeah, size. The um, updates of the equipment has gotten smaller. Example PD to micro SD card. Anything that was big and then it gets smaller. Right? Cool. Um, speed, uh, speed of storage. Uh, I mean, D3. Uh, example sequential. Go add this drive. 
physical hard drive, physical hard drive to SSD, which is uh, electronic. For speed, you could, you could go from tape drive to um, anything else. The costs, the cost of storage, and roughly the price of gigabyte watch, for example, $10 for 1.44 MB. You know how to put this example, but I'm in yeah, at some point in time, whether it be $10 for a floppy and some point in time, $10 for a floppy and it'll whack me the back now. Now, I don't have an example. Just, I find, just to give, okay, for example, to give, to, just to give one sentence alone, it just seems like it's too easy now. Yeah. I guess that is what, that's what I want. But I don't play with these people and them. Like, if they have a chance to take a Yama for a poor explanation, they will. But once they have that right example, they can't fight you. Right, yeah, 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 that's good, yeah. Yeah. Put all that safe. Just make sure when you write it that you write uh your writing name, the thing that you're describing first because they always check for that. They check for the, the title that you're trying to the thing that you're trying to explain and then how you explain it. You gotta make sure you um, you lay it out because laying out the answer is real important in IT. Right, this three trends associated with the development of the internet since it became a reality in the late 1960s. I don't know what they what they wanted to say. Com um, email, email communication, website, and uh, voice over IP um, services. You can get e-commerce stuff like that yeah stuff like that anything that's one of the things i used to think message boards all them all them kind of things. outline three reasons why an internet relay chat may not be advisable for the transmission of information all right here one to say one the um large number of people then you'll want to say privacy and then you will want this one this one is on top of the get free from this one large number of people okay large number of people is not the actual problem the actual problem is the information can't be communication by your error communication is that this privacy will be a issue and uh no right time to say because direct communication because there is a large number of and your message me get more in the cut of messages. Cool. Privacy. Um everyone can see your message in the chat room is not private. And we will be it's not advisable for the transition of this actual chance of it because it is not three times or two because three times. What about real time is bad? It's real time, therefore, because it's real time, it will be uh, the internet connection. The internet connection goes down. Oh, 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 no. It's not encrypted. I I guess security. The messages are not encrypted and they can be intercepted. Intercepted and read. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So, right, well, I had for that, of course, I know, I know you would have struggled with this one. This one, come up with answers for this. I pay. <laughs> <laughs> Misinterpret misinterpretation information could be cool, you know? Yeah. Um, because the messages won't be coherent. Uh, something like that. I guess. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's not. Ah, I was thinking about the no record, you know? Yeah, you can get the no record or the chat because emails would give you the ability to have like a paper tree so there is no record of the chat so but the point for it no record of the chat what is the what is the like you know the, the reason the point the accountability or references or something like that yada yada right? yeah that's be the problem because sometimes they just run and like like, like we run and start to explain these things but what they need is they need to see the point and then how you explain the point point and then how you explain it because they, they wouldn't give you if you just have an explanation they will look for a keyword inside and usually the keywords that they're looking for is usually these stuff they say okay this matches it and then they look for the explanation but if you have the explanation and you don't have any other keywords it's very possible they could get zero well no marks for it because it wasn't a structured answer no. they, they love structured answers in it they love it right? so, always keep them um give two advantages of using a news group rather than a mailing list to disseminate information a news group would be good because it's a news group a news group oh, no, we gotta write the actual advantage we gotta take, take our time take the two advantages of a news group rather than a mailing list Advantage number one would be you will get multiple answers for one question. Last topic. Uh, basically, the discussion can be tracked and followed by many people in the news group. Um, but then one will be a uh, wrong email account or email, email issue. Some email account may not look properly. I'll just put email issues because I have multiple things that have email issues. Some email accounts may not work properly or because they are uh, the wrong email. Okay, some email may not be 
wish to send me an email if they gave you wrong email. Or you could say that um, the email may class, may be classed as spam, then may be class spam. Um, or right, as your child, what your what as well have this one this will go while. Uh, yeah, what, what did you have the points before? You just wrote us and oh, yeah, you just had a degree. Yeah, you had to be like um control or security or some kind of thing like that. Because yeah, guarantee I've seen yeah. what's a good point. Um, this again, um, I get. I guess that would be um, efficiency. Yeah, it's more efficient for something like that. Yeah. If you put efficiency, you can. I guarantee if you do, if you do, if you do put a PowerPoint before you answer, you're starting off on, on, on the back foot because they will do things wrong. They definitely will do things wrong.